Hello everyone and welcome. Um, today I want to talk about um, rank decks. I want to talk about beginning um, rank decks and what people might use, might not use, what to look towards in a rank deck and what to kind of stay away from. <coughs> so today um, ranked is the main topic of discussion. Um, I want to tell you guys what good decks are, what are bad decks, what can you play, what will you see in ranked, you know, what your opponent will be using, stuff like that, etc. I want to make a quick, you know, 10, 15 minute video about um, just ranked decks and what you might use, maybe a beginner's deck um, in the first place. So, here we go. Um, so, I have a ton of decks. Um, probably 90% I don't even use. In ranked, you probably will use about two or three, to be honest with you. I only use one or two. It's, uh, I only play Red 4. I think in terms of competitive play, I think Red 4 is miles ahead of Blue 4. And I think that's a separate video because there's so many things I have, um, on why Red 4 is better. But in terms of 1v1 gameplay, I still think Red 4 is the better, best option currently, uh, because there are some units that are just miles ahead of, uh, Blue 4 units in terms of just, um, effectiveness, cost effectiveness, and than just price. Um, so, um, if we were to build a ranked deck right here, um, I'd be playing Red 4 and I'd be playing USSR. It doesn't really matter anything else. I wouldn't really go spec because you don't really need it with USSR. You still get everything and you get a good amount of points uh, to use. So, um, at the first you always want two commands, so it's quick. Um, just want two commands, one in a helo, one in a vehicle. And then um, you won't really be taking a FOB in ranked because you want the extra 75 points to use. Now this is personal opinion, but if you want to use a FOB, go for it. I'll just use a card of cargos. Um, for infantry, um, pretty much you'll have something like Morskaya because these do come in B tier 90s. They're like a quick reaction force of the 90s. You don't really have to take them vetted, but you can. I will take them vetted because the RPG accuracy is very low, so taking them vetted is, is very good. Um, and, you know, B tier on the accuracy uh, when they're vetted is also very, very good. So we'll go down here. Um, VDV. These are going to be probably your line infantry. You'll probably want two cards of VDV, and you'll probably want them in this transport. The cheapest one, the 5.1. So we'll probably take two cards of those. And um, maybe a Spetsnaz squad. Then, um, for your last card, you probably want to fill out your three or your five cards um, for ranked. Your last card could either be Gornostroki, if you like them, or a super cheap um, uh, Mor uh, Mordostroki squad. Now, this is kind of redundant because you do have VDV90, but I could see the point. Now, I could also see taking Morskaya, or excuse me, um, Mordostroki in uh, a fast, quick transport because you do have these guys on slow transports. So I could see something like this as well. I did this before. It's not too bad. Um, it's a little interesting because you get a great transport, but again, you don't really get a um, a great uh, infantry squad, but still, nonetheless, they still have a good RPG. Um, you could also take them in a APC like this, which is what I'll do here. I think having a good tracked APC, um, even though the BMP ones aren't that great, this one has a grenade launcher, so it's good enough for me. Uh, here, just a quick little thing, I'll take uh, Wield AA. Um, this A is pretty good, take them vetted, you don't want uh, to miss with 50% accuracy, So, and they don't. They only have 6 uh, missiles anyway, so take them vetted of course. Uh, Tor, because we are using one card of cargo, so we're not going to be using the books. Um, then we're going to take the Tunguska. Uh, Tunguska is your grand AA killer. Uh, it's really easy, really good. And then a card of Shulka is probably upvetted, actually, um, because you're not going to call out 13 of them. These are just your cheap AA base defense is what I'd use um, for just cheap AA. Now, if you want mortars, this is a, you know, you could take your deck in a different direction here. You could uh, buy some mortars. You could buy, you know, Vasilex. You can buy Pundos, Pondos. I don't know how to say that. Um, you could also buy Bertino. Um, you could buy artillery. Probably not. Um, but I think, um, I think here, there's not really too much you can take in terms of mortars for Red Four, uh, for USSR, excuse me. Um, but I think the Bertino is a really shock unit you can use. 
and you can maybe even upfed it. I, I kind of like upfetting it, but um, you can you can upfed it. Um, for tank tab, it's pretty easy. You'll just be using the tanks that you always see. Um, you'll be seeing these tanks in ranked quite often, so you're going to take those, of course. Um, vetted because the accuracy is quite low, and uh, you're not going to use how many like 18 and 9 of them. Not not normally, 7 is usually enough. So you can choose to take a, another medium super or a medium heavy. So this is like uh, above 100 points and below super heavy price point range. So you can either take like um, you can take like a T64 here. Um, you only get four of them, but they're pretty good. And then you can take a T90. Um, so you, you pretty much want a super heavy. Some ranked games, super heavies are super important, and you can buy one early and really dominate the battlefield. Um, and um, yeah, this is pretty much obvious. I don't think I should really do much about about this. So this this should explain itself pretty well. Um, B tier 90s, GRU, MI24D, always want the K52, and you always want a cheap recon helo. Um, I don't really like the vehicle tab too much. I see people taking these, I don't really like that idea. People take Zalos. You might try them. Personally, uh, every time I use them, they suck really bad for me and they just die. Uh, I don't like BMBTs. They're a little too expensive for what they do, and they're really, uh, they don't do anything to tanks. Um, and most of the time you'll be playing against Blue 4, uh, and if you use this against Blue 4, uh, their RPGs are like 70% accuracy anyway, so you're going to get really messed up. So, uh, and against Red 4 it might be a little bit better, but not against VDV, so, yeah, don't really take those. I'll take these. These are good infantry killers, good fire support. Um, for the, um, Hilo tab. We will take um, upfitted these guys because 50, uh, excuse me, 55% accuracy is not enough um, when it comes to fighting AE helos. You want a lot as much as you can. So at hardened, you, you get 16 extra percent of accuracy. So it's not too much, but it's definitely um, you know better than nothing. Uh, then we'll take like an Mi-28. This is your dedicated anti-tank killer. And you probably want a cheap uh, helo as well, uh, kind of to counteract um, like pushes or something gets behind your base. So you probably want to get an MI-24P as well. Um, for the plane tab, you'll get PDs. These are your go-to ASF. They're cheap, cost-effective, and they're very good at what they do, and they're fast as well. Um, MiG-27 is also cheap, cost-effective, super good, um, and you know does its job really well. And another cheap, cost-effective plane, you know, seed, um, and then another great, cheap, cost-effective bomber. It, it does its job. 20% ECM is good enough, really fast, gets there on time. Um, so yeah, I have two points. I could probably put them in. Um, I could probably get another uh, cargo truck, or I could get, uh, I guess, a BMPT. I guess that's our other option. So yeah, this is your overall, if you're beginning, this is, you know, kind of something you want to look towards for ranked. This is your go-to deck, I think. I think this deck, um, depending on your playstyle, of course, uh, you can switch this around. I'll link the deck code in the description so you guys can use this, look at it, make your own adjustments, make your own ideas, you know, maybe upfit the Bertino, um, maybe use some different planes that I did, you know, anything goes. Um, I really think that uh, ranked is something more people should get into, and if we get this poll um, completed um, to where we have enough people uh, asking for the reset, I really think a lot of people are going to hop into ranked and really um, want to play with new players and uh, against you know people at the skill level. And I think with this reset, I think that will happen. Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys uh, enjoy this video. Uh, this is the first real video on this channel. It's about you know. I really um, look forward to making more videos, and I, of course, looking forward to streaming. I will be streaming soon, and uh, you guys should look out for that. But anyways, it's been a good one. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.